Hey you guys, it's your girl Internet, and today we come at you with a video and it's called Chaos Chaos Erupts After Woman Is Escapes from Handcuffs During Arrest. Oh my god. Lady, why are you doing it? It's hard enough you got handcuffs on. <laughs> Don't be trying to leave. You're making it worse. Oh my god. Some people like they be on this stuff. They be on this stuff. They be up there trying to just leave. You can't leave now. When you had the chance to leave, you didn't do it. You guys, let's just jump on into this. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notifications on so you can see me. Let's get into this. This right here is wild. In February 2024, a deputy was monitoring traffic at a motel in Eau Claire, Wisconsin, which at was notorious among law enforcement for being a hotspot for the distribution and consumption of illegal narcotics. He soon observed a vehicle leaving the rear of the motel parking lot, driven by a 45-year-old woman later identified as Michelle. As he ran her oh. info, it revealed that Michelle's license was suspended and that she was currently flagged with a be on the lookout alert by the city of Eau Claire police. <laughs> Upon conducting a traffic stop, Michelle began exiting her vehicle. Jump back in your car for me, please. Jump back in your car. Golly. Quick trip on Otter Road, Adam Robert Zebra 5292. Good. Ten four, you can have them start over here. Uh, Michelle, you don't have a license. How is that? I just I don't it, have a license. It's suspended. For what? I haven't looked that far into it, so I don't well, know the reason. Because, I mean, I have. I look, look, you don't have a valid license. Stop arguing with me. I didn't know that. I honestly. Okay, why? Know why that. are you being so argumentative? Because I just got done with work. I was just trying. Apparently, I don't have a license. I don't know. Is this your car? Before? Yes, this is my car. Do you have insurance on it? No. Okay. What are you up to? I just got done with work literally six minutes ago. What do you do, what do, you do for work? I work at a group home. Okay. Are you coming from the group home? Yes, I work out in I was stopping to see if I could... What? Hello? Good. Yeah. Quick trip. Yes. I didn't know I had. I didn't have a license. When did I... When was it... Suspended. Suspended. There you go. I, I, I can tell you that here in a minute once I go back to my I car. I pulled over or anything since I got out. Literally, I haven't had a ticket or nothing. Okay, uh, I'll tell you that once I go look. I, it doesn't tell me right away. I have to look into that. While speaking with her, the deputy detected an odor of marijuana oh emanating God. from the vehicle. <laughs> Being that he's very familiar with the smell, he's most likely able to recall all sorts of thrilling arrests. Have you ever encountered a scent that immediately brought back a memory? Yes. That's because your sense of smell is closely linked to your memory, allowing a fragrance to trigger vivid recollections. Mm -hmm. It's a great way to reminisce about memorable times. Literally, I got done with work. I was going to stop and see what he was doing, and I'm going to my friend's house. I'm homeless. <laughs> okay. This is my home. You live out of your car? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. I got clothes scattered all over Eau Claire between my kid's house and my friend's house. Dude, I finally, finally found a job, but if I don't have a license, I don't have a job. Okay. Just hang tight for me. I'll come back up here and chat with you, okay? <laughs> Sorry for her. The deputy also discovered that she was on active probation, which prohibited oh. her from having contact with the motel she had just left. Oh, God. Uh, I'm going to pull her out, see if she'll uh, give us consent. If not, we'll act 79 it. Okay. Don't y'all hate, like, when y'all already, like, be pulled over and then, like, they, like, a whole flea of, like, cops come over to, like, I ain't asked for all this. I'm just one person. I'm just one woman. I don't need everybody and they dang on mama over here. Golly. Shit, if you're going to put me in jail, put me in there. Don't you got to have all these people looking at me? <laughs> Sounds good. I was just looking at her. That's I feel so oh. sorry okay. for her. I didn't know she was on paper till just now. But she just came from Gartens and she's got a no contact with Gartens. So. Yeah, that's good enough. See if she wants to be cooperative or not. No. What is she suspended for? Is it just hers or two in there? It's just her. Just her. Yeah. I'm oh trying to gosh. see what she's suspended for because she's all up in arms about that. She looks kind of animated. Right? Failure to pace child support. Yeah, lady. 
Uh-oh. Oh, here they go. Here so they go. Jump on, I'll talk to you behind your car real quick. That's a big one. Is there anything illegal in your car that I need to know about? I don't think so. Okay, I just smoke, keep your hand out of your pocket for I me. I smoke weed. I don't know. I might have a blunt or something in the car. I don't okay. Know. If you did have a blunt in your car, where would it be? In my bag. Okay. Which you got one in the front and one in the back? It'd be the one in the front. Okay. There is a blunt in there? Or? I don't I don't know if there's one in there or not. I, I don't remember if I took it out or not. Hands out of your pockets. I'm sorry. My... Cold. Well, yeah, so am I. Um, so you're suspended for child support. You must have not paid a child support, so they suspended you. Dude, I haven't had a job. I literally just found a job five days ago. Okay, hands out of your pockets. Stop digging in your pockets. Would you give us consent to search your car? I can't tell you no. Okay. Well, I'm just trying to see if you want to be cooperative with us or not. I'm never not cooperative. I don't want to go to jail for f***ing weed. I have to work tomorrow. I just got this job. Okay. Alright, let's go to the front of this car. <laughs> it's been nice knowing you. I'll talk Hands to you. Hands out of your pockets. God, get your hand out your pocket. Oh my God. For what? You keep putting your hands in your pockets after I've told you 16 I times. I know. Do you mean? I don't have a coat on like you guys do. I don't have a coat. I just got a polyester shirt. I just, you know, I have been more than cooperative with you guys. Seriously. Okay, this doesn't mean you're going to jail. <laughs> you're just being detained, okay? You're not free to go. Do you have anything on you that's gonna stick, no. stab, poke us? I have my keys, a vape, I think. Does your, yeah, you do have pockets. Okay, can we get that door open or? I'd rather stand outside. Thank well, you. we're gonna sit you in the car because you're already complaining that it's cold out. I don't care. You're not detaining me. Okay, you're not listen, arresting me. So I was oh, there, there she you're go. Here detained. she go. You're gonna sit in the car. Here she go. That's not negotiable. <laughs> Here she go. I wanted to go to the restaurant closing on a bed. I get up at 3 o'clock. Here she go. <laughs> <laughs> there she go. Yeah, right now she can't. <laughs> So, Michelle, the. <coughs> I appreciate that. So, we'll work on getting you out of here as soon as possible, okay? <laughs> Where do you work at? Just oh, listen! Second shift, I'm just tired. Mm -hmm. Sounds like you're at least trying to, to get some stuff straight. I've been looking for a job for two years. Yeah. I've been looking for a place for two years. Everything, dude. Like... Is it just with your record that you're having difficulty <laughs> with? Oh my god, like what she did. I, I understand, yes, she's scared and stuff like that, but you're gonna have to calm down. You're gonna have to calm down because you're really finna make things worse than it's finna have to be. Sometimes you just kind of cooperate with people, they'll, they'll kind of help you out, but no sooner you start trying to, like, that's something my granddad always taught me. Like, if you was to get pulled over, something like that, be cooperative, listen, yes, sir, no, sir. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am, or anything like that. Keep your mouth closed. You answer them questions, and you do what they say. If they get an attitude, you keep your same calm voice. Hopefully, everything will be okay. Because <laughs> you got some crooked people. My life sucks. So, uh, I have to talk to you about an incident that happened on street on the third or at your daughter's place you remember that yeah i was whipping a yui trying to leave because i was about to like snap out on her friend and i hit a garbage can well i'm gonna go help that officer so that we can get out of here and you can get out of here sooner okay yeah, you let me go there's probably weed in the car i smoke weed my po knows i smoke okay. weed okay <laughs> shut up that i've ever done to us like sure I went through the driver's side, oh. but that's that's it. And the center council. What's up? Not being here to no, you can hang out over there. That's all I'm, that's all I'm asking. Yeah, you, yeah, as long as you just hang out over there, that's cool. Okay, thank you. You can go in the store if you want to stay warm, too. All right. And you went through yeah, this. Yeah, late. Yep, I went through that. That was, they I'm assuming, up, they, cold. Oh, they do. They do. Out. Okay. They, do. they smell like weed, but... There's nothing in it, so Golly. I'm going to citations right now, then. I'm going to call probation. Tell who? Probation! My people would not have me put in jail. I have to work. 
Hey, this is Deputy Tennell from Eau Claire County Sheriff's Office. Doing well. I am uh, in contact with a subject who is on supervision. Yes. Just one possession of THC. Yes. Will you please tell them I have to work in the morning? Girl, shut up. Oh, oh my gosh, she's getting on my nerve. Will you please tell them this stuff? I want you to drive me if I didn't know I had a license. Um, the address is, uh, she does not have a valid driver's license. I didn't know that. And then, do you have her rules available? there by you? Yeah, mostly number four. Yeah, that's that's the one that's uh, the issue that she just came from. I was driving through. Awesome. Thank you. You too. So probation is going to put a hold on you. 536 County. I'm 1095 wow, with Michelle. <laughs> While completing paperwork, Michelle slipped her cuffs and began shaking the living shit out of the squad car. Oh my God. See, she already messing up. Don't do that. She already messed uh, up. Uh, Good. Uh, you stupid fucking bird. Ten for it. My hands are numb. I can't sit up anymore. Mm, I can't do this. All I have is a fucking weed. I'm going to lose my fucking job. <laughs> Somehow she slipped her cuffs off. So she doesn't have cuffs on right now, and she's not ah! doing that, so I want to get her cuffed up quick. Um, yeah. She's probably going to be fun, so. When they instructed her to exit the squad car, she attempted to flee and swung at the deputy. No, she did. All right, Michelle, jump out. I would rather just sit here. Jump, Michelle, get out of the car. Make me. Do you really want to go that route? You guys are some f***ing dumb ass motherfuckers. Stop. Michelle, stop. stop. Put your hands behind your back. Yeah, really. Let me go. You want to go to the ground? Let me go. Let's back up here. No. Put your hands behind your back. Stop. <laughs> you just want to f***ing go to bed. <laughs> you wanted to go to bed. Well, you finna go to bed, babe. Shoot. You finna go to bed. I will break my wrist, I promise you. Well, that's not a good idea. Who, what purpose is that going to serve, Michelle? The purpose me f***ing blowing my brains out will do too. They promise you I lose my job, dude, I'm going to f***ing jump off yeah, the first finger, f***ing bridge as soon as I f***ing walk out of there. <laughs> you have nothing better to do with your time? Right, huh? Back. You have nothing better to do, huh? You pieces of s***. Do you want to just hand me the seatbelt? Go f*** yourself. I don't need a goddamn seatbelt. Let No! Yeah. Ah! Very loud. We're good. I got, got it. it. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't breathe. I can't breathe. Want to just go to the jail? Yeah, I think that's probably going to be the best case scenario. She wants you to have her keys. Ah! So I'm going to oh. those with you. And then this was also on her. I'll just leave that here with you, okay? Her car doesn't have insurance, so it can't be on the road, but just to avoid I'll any say, more of this. I'll stay right across the street. Ah! Tell you what, get it back there. I'm not gonna look, okay? Yes, sir. Give us like two minutes so at yes, least we're yes. not around, okay? <laughs> All right, thank you. This, oh my gosh, she has. I would not, uh, you know. I would say that's your problem. Uh, you get her. I can't feel my fingers. You have them on two sides. I'm seriously that fing. Oh, seriously, I'll be there. 536, Tony? Well, when they was oh trying to do that, you were acting a fool. Oh my god. Well, you slipped them out. Uh-uh. <laughs> Man, I could not be no police. Somebody doing it. Girl, I've been took my bed out and whooped that woman in the back there. <laughs> I'm like, I'll give you some damn olive oil. I been whooped that woman butt back there. <laughs> All that hollering like that. Uh-uh. She looked like she was a handful, too. In the end, Michelle was charged with misdemeanor counts of resisting an officer and possession of THC. 
She also received $400 in traffic citations and was released a few days later on a $1,000 signature bond. Almost two months later, she was found guilty for both counts. The court sentenced her to 10 days in jail, which could be fulfilled by completing 80 hours of community service, an option that she was a ultimately chose. Right. And again, be sure to use discount code CODEBLUE at scentbird.com or click the link in the description and find your scent that defines you. My thing is, like, she could have, I mean, like, she could have really cooperated. And, like, even, even when the man had the cuffs on tight, the only thing she had to do was just not say nothing. Not act crazy. I understand she wanted to go to sleep and stuff like that. But now she's going to be able to go to sleep because she went to jail. But, I mean, she really caused some of this on herself. I understand about the license not being, your license being suspended and so. And then, but you know you was on probation and stuff like that. I mean, like, you could you could have told him you've been around somebody smoking weed or whatever like that, but you don't pose to be around weed. Long as they want to, well, even if you've been around it, sometimes it can get in your system. <sighs> she really made things harder for herself. She really did. And I hate that when people be doing that. But all that squalling like that, like she was doing all that screaming, girl, I would have pulled that. I would have pulled that. I would like, y'all better come get her. You better put take her and put it in your truck. Uh uh. This wasn't even my arrest. I mm mm. Y'all being pulled that truck off, took that belt off, and whooped the snot out of that woman back there. <laughs> Little old me, and that's a big old woman. Mm mm. I would have whooped her. All this squalling like that. Okay, you said it was tight. You know the man was gonna put it on tight if you uh if you was sitting up there, then got your hand away from over there. And then you sit up there banging and stuff like that. Got the whole truck moving and stuff. Like, they're never going to buck you down and all like that. You asked for it. You asked for that. Oh, my God. I don't know what's about her. But you guys, y'all tell me what y'all thought of the video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye, you guys.